Hey everybody, this is Latanya Wilson. I'm, today I'm bringing you two DIYs with the using the word joy. And right here you have hairspray, you have Mod Podge, glitter, um, and you will need these products um, to your taste, to your liking. The hairspray is to stop the glitter from shedding so much. Then I have these foam sheets, black, and the gold. I use the black and I have already um, did half of the work for myself. Um, putting the glitter on the letters. I traced those letters out that I got from Walmart. And then we have my inspiration right here. The joy can right here. This is where I got the idea with the classic colors and everything. Okay, now I'm starting on my Y. I have already glittered it with iridescent glitter that I got from the Dollar General. And these are the ornaments again. I have already peeled a lot of the um, parts the ornaments off or whatever and I am going to be applying them with the glue gun around the whole letter Y. Okay, and I'm starting up here at the top of the letter and I'm taking the longest strands that I have and putting them up there um, because this could be a very tedious project but when you peel the mosaic pieces off you should try your best to get the longest strips off of there okay and that's what I'm doing right here okay I have finished half of the letter it's looking good it's looking good I have made my way down to the bottom of the letter. I'm trying to line them up as neat as possible. that I didn't show you how I took the Mod Podge and the glitter and did the J but it's just Mod Podge and glitter and what you do is you spray the spray after the glitter has dried a little bit the hairspray so it won't do much shedding and I have two different looks I did with my joy sign and I want you to comment below which one you like the best okay And here I am peeling off more of the ornament, um, the mosaic pieces, to complete my letter Y. And if you watched me before, you know I use that a lot. Okay, here I am. This is with the clock. Okay, y'all tell me below if you like it with the clock. Okay. or if you like it with the reef and I haven't haven't attached the letters to the reef I just set them on top of it um, at the front of it because it's not attached so y'all tell me below which one you like best I know I like the I like the one with the clock but anyway um, DIY number two I am making a pillow with the cloth that you get from the Dollar Tree, the cloth that you wash your car with, that nice plush white cloth, um, and I am going around three sides of the material. I have to, um, everything turned inside out so that I can put the best part um, as I turn it around after I glue it real good. I want the best part to show on the good part um the front of the pillow I should say and I have some more material that I've had for a while the old curtain that I'm using the same one if you ever saw my fall 
home um, banner that I made same as that material I'm using I like this it's a cream color at the time I went in Dollar Tree they only had one of these terry cloths or um, I guess that's what you call it but um, that's why I'm using the other material along with it and you want to close up all three sides and leave a space to stuff your um, pillow with and what I'm gonna do is just take some old uh, old pillow and take the filling that's in there and just stuff it and I'm gonna show you how I will close it up okay and this is me closing it up I'm actually just bending the material down so I can have like a finished look to it um, I didn't want to just glue it but you just bend that material down and you put your glue gun in between the two materials and just pinch it together and that will keep it from coming out loose and it gives it a better look a finished look I call it so if I flip the pillow upside down you wouldn't be able to tell which side I glued um, for the bottom or for the top like that and that's all I'm doing is taking that material folding it down and pinching it together to secure it okay now I'm laying my J and my Y and my cute little um, snow flurry in the middle and I got those snow flurries from the Dollar Tree and I took the iridescent glitter and just glued uh, Mod Podged it and um, put the Mod Podge y'all I can't talk today I'm sorry but I put the Mod Podge and the glitter together and I just took a paintbrush and did the glitter part and I was thinking that I would have to put like diamond wrap around it but as you can see I can tell it from the pillow I thought it would blend with the pillow more but it's not so it is fine and I'm gonna leave it just like it is and I'm using the classic colors the red the green and the white because when I grew up that's all I seen in the 80s I seen the classic colors okay and me myself I decorate with a lot of untraditional colors so this time I said let me give this a try and decorate with the classic colors okay and what I'm doing is I'm taking my time going around each letter making sure that I have each letter each letter um, glued to the pillow and it will not come a loose okay and I just love these colors I didn't think I would like these colors that much you know because it is classic it's traditional but I love them together it's very beautiful and I mean I'm just in the Christmas mood y'all <laughs> I really really am yeah and you guys I just thank you for watching this video I'm not gonna hold you long um, I'm almost at the end of this project right here and remember these words if you do nothing else today be you and be true I love you y'all give me a thumbs up at the bottom and I will have some pictures at the end as usual just some throwback pictures of me and my family um, of me and my husband or whatever but I will be adding a couple of pictures at the end and you will get a look at how I style this pillow in my home and I will be making more pillows not sure if I'm going to record them but I will be making more uh, for this holiday season and I just like I said before y'all I really appreciate all the support love y'all y'all have a blessed day